Hello students. In the first chapter of uh, Griffith, it is uh, named as wave function. So the first section of uh, the wave function is basically 1.1. And this is all about Schrodinger wave equation. In this uh, section, we have just discuss uh, that uh, only Schrodinger wave equation and the Schrodinger wave equation is given by I H cut del psi upon del T must be equal to minus H cut to square upon 2M del square psi del X square plus potential Vx psi where psi is identified as wave function. And in the second section of this chapter, it is all given the statistical, statistical interpretation, statistical interpretation of psi. So in this section, it is discussed that mod psi square dx is the from if you are going to integrate mod psi square dx minus infinity to plus infinity, it is one, then psi is normalized and mod psi square can be treated as probability density. So mod psi square is identified as probability, probability density. And this mod psi square will tell you what will be probability of the particle such that it will between lying in a position x to x plus dx. So if particle is in this position, what will be probability? This is your mod psi square. And obviously, if we are treating it for the probability density mod psi square, it should be normalized. And this is basically normalization condition. And if we want to calculate probability between x is between a to b, then obviously, we have to just go for a to b mod psi square dx. So this integration, we have to always try to calculate in a very nice manner. And the section 1.3, it is named as probability, 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 where it is discussed two type of variable. One is a discrete and another is continuous. And these two are random variable. When they are, these are random variable, then there are some basic formula, some basic uh, physics is associated with this. So let's try to first discuss all this thing. Then we will go for next uh, examples. So let's go for the section 1.3 where we have to discuss probability. So in this section, the J is identified as random variable, which is discrete in nature. So J is random variable. And this J is basically discrete. Means you can say one, two, something like this. Discrete is the random variable. and if j is random variable, the associate count with j is basically nj. And if we are going to summation over nj over j, that value will be give you total number of count. So if we want to calculate probability of getting j is nothing but nj by n. And from here, we can calculate the mean value and or the average value. So the average value of j is given by summation over j, j, p, j. And similarly, we can go for j square is nothing but summation over j square probability of j, 
summation over j that means we are just talking about all possible outcomes we are just talking about all possible outcomes so don't confuse with the notation the notation is little bit tricky so this is random variable so we are talking about all possible random variables so when we will solve the problem then we can discuss what is this particular j means for us and uh, obviously the value of sigma square is basically variance and sigma is a standard deviation and which is nothing but the expectation value of delta j and this expectation value of delta j is nothing but j minus expectation value of j probability of j summation over j so if we are going to calculate this particular thing this sigma square can be also calculated as j square minus j expectation value of j square minus expectation value sorry this is expectation value of j square minus expectation value of j whole square so this is your sigma square and we can also see that j expectation value of j square should be greater than the expectation value of j whole square so if this holds then obviously we can say that j is random variable so this is all the story of the discrete variable and suppose we have any function which can be discrete that the expectation value of that particular function fj can be nothing but summation over j fj and obviously probability of getting j so this is all about discrete thing similarly we have also continuous thing so when we are talking about continuous thing then we have probability density and this probability density can be written as probability per unit length this is all about probability density for the one dimension so if we want to calculate probability between x between a to b then obviously we have rho x dx a to b if rho x is probability density then obviously it will hold that rho x dx summation over all possible x must be equal to 1 then only we can treat any function as probability density this is just a mathematical test whether this function can be treated as a probability density or not and this is probability such that x is between a to b and similarly we can have expectation value of x where x is actually random variable and that random variable is continuous in nature so this expectation value of x can be given as x rho x dx obviously we have to go for all value of x similarly expectation value of x square will we go for minus infinity to infinity x square rho x dx and the sigma square can be again given as expectation value of x square minus expectation of x square so this is all about sigma square and again we can have x square must be greater than x and yes if we want to calculate the expectation value of any function fx and that f is the function of random variable then obviously this value is fx dx sorry fx rho x dx and that value is from minus infinity to plus infinity so these formulas are discussed in a very well manner into section 1.3 of the griffith second edition and after then there was there is one example and three unsolved problem so we will solve that example into next video thank you